All right, for today's video, I'm going to be going over my new gun design. Here it is. It's actually, whereas my previous gun is using a QEV, this one is actually using a hammer valve or poppet valve. And what it actually is, is it is a paintball gun uh, with a CO2 cartridge. And then I modified the barrel to accept uh, 3 uh, sorry, that's actually half-inch NPT fitting. And then I have it reduced down to a quarter-inch uh, compression fitting to a another three foot long barrel. Uh, I'll show you the BBs here in a minute that I'm going to be using. They're super tiny. I haven't weighed them, um, but we're going to be shooting them into two cans of water, and I've never shot this before, so I'm not really sure what it will do, but we're about to find out. Here are the BBs I'll be firing. There's my finger for comparison. As you can see, they are very tiny, and as I said, I haven't weighed these out. I'm not sure what they weigh, but I'll be shooting into these two cans here full of water and we'll see what the damage is. The pressure inside the CO2 cartridge should be around 850 PSI. I did dry fire it a couple times, um, but I would still think it's probably around 8 to 850 PSI. So let's get this thing loaded up and we'll take a shot. I should also mention these BBs aren't a perfect fit for this barrel, they're a little too small. I do have some wadding behind them to help them help the firepower increase, uh, but the only other issue I have with them is that they tend to roll out the barrel if I aim it down. Um, probably look into some kind of fix for that, either find correct size bearings or maybe put like some kind of spring clip in there so that they, they don't roll out once they're inserted, but we got it all loaded up again and we'll try again for a hit. And there we go, that time we got it. Let's go take a look. So it got one, there it is spewing out. And let's see, went through the whole can. And it looks like it dented that one. So, not too bad for a little BB. Why don't I line it up? and we'll take one more shot for you guys. All right guys, I got it set up again for one more shot. This time I put the uh, pink can in the front. So the one that's half full of water is behind it. I'm gonna try and aim low on the can and see what it does the second time. Looks like I hit a little high on it. Let's go take a look. So once again, it went into the can. There's the hole. And let's see if we can't see where it came out. Or if it did, I should say. All right, once again, it did make it all the way through. But I'm not seeing anything on this can that it hit it. So must have just made it through and then fallen somewhere so uh, stay tuned I think I'm actually gonna do one more shot with my bigger gun with one of the large steel ball bearings at around 500 psi might line up a couple cans and see just how far I can make it through those so yeah stay put and uh, I'll get that set up and we'll go from there and I'm back got the large gun loaded up to about 525 PSI with the 5.2 gram steel ball bearing on it, inside of it I should say. And I got three cans lined up over there, uh, all three of them filled with water. I'm gonna take aim here and see what kind of damage this gun will do at 525 PSI versus those three cans with water. Uh, I'm not even gonna make a prediction here just because, I'm not sure, I think, it, eh, I lied. I think it'll probably go through, I think it'll go through two and maybe into the third but not out of it but enough talking let's get to firing oh yeah it did it <laughs> it went through all of them
Here we have the first one. Here's the second, and there's the third. Let's get a better view of this damage. I believe this is also from the ball bearing right there, uh, pretty deep into the wood there. Let's see if I can uh, do my usual little finger poke in there. Uh, nope, it's a little bit too small for me to stick my finger in there. Um, but man, it uh, went through there. So let's take a look at these cans. Well, apparently the one in the front was no, that was the front one. Looks like it kind of ripped through the side there. Just blew it all out. Here was can number two. And here's can number three. So, <clears throat> quite a bit of power here. Should have known it would do more damage than I thought. Uh, with how deep this mark is in this pine board In fact, let's take a look at the back. I don't think it made it out. Uh, no, it didn't make it out But you can kind of see right here. Uh, it did bubble up this uh, sheet behind there a little bit So quite a bit of force there. I'm um, not sure where the ball bearing went on this one But yeah, I'm not even sure how many cans it would make it through probably With that much force still left. I don't know five six seven. I might have to uh, put this board in a different orientation and stack up a bunch of cans on it and see just how many we can go through If you want to see that video feel free to Like or comment tell me what you want. Like I said, I'm always open for suggestions. I know I have like three viewers um, But if you guys have anything you want to see, please let me know also I should be getting around to finishing up the uh, Brass fitting I need to take my gun up to a higher PSI and one last look at the cans for some damage here. Pretty nasty stuff, just ripping through all three of them without a problem. So, hope you guys enjoyed. That's gonna be it for today. Stay tuned for more. Thanks, bye.